Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the FX Gradients widget. This widget applies an animated gradient background to a row, column, or other element. The gradient shifts between multiple colors to create a subtle and smooth visual effect to your site without being distracting. On our demo, we have a gradient set in this row with purple and pink colors. This gradient is part of our FX series of widgets, which features a single dedicated effect per widget. And just like the rest of the FX series, this widget applies the effect as a background so that you can work freely with things like text and images, which will appear on top of the background effect. Let's go ahead and jump into the builder here. In the builder, we see that I have the digital store template here, and I'll show you two different ways to use this widget. The simplest way is to use the widget by dragging and dropping it into a row or a column. So we're going to scroll down here and I'm going to go ahead and add the widget to this new arrivals row. Currently it just has a photo gallery in the row. So let's open up our widgets panel. Let's grab our widget here and just drag and drop it. Perfect. And as we can see, it has applied a gradient to the background. Now if we watch it for a second, we'll see some movement with the default colors of green and blue. If we wanted it in this row and we're happy with the colors, we'd be done. We'd be good to go. But let's try a different example. So if we come up here to this VR Games Hero Row, we could take a look at how we can apply the gradient behind an image. So in this Hero Row, we have two columns, an image on the left and the text on the right. Now, the image on the left was placed using an image widget with a PNG file that has a transparent background behind the guy with the VR goggles on. The image is not applied to the background image for the column or row. The reason we've done this is because we want the gradient to appear behind him. If this image was set as a background for the row or column, the gradient would just override that image and show the solid gradient color and our image would be gone. So let's drop in a gradient widget. Open up our widgets panel, grab the gradient effect, and let's drop it down here in this right column. We can see that the gradient is working well, but let's go with some darker gradient colors that will match with our original hero image. So in the options panel, we're going to go to the design section, and we'll set our gradient colors as a black and dark purple. So we're going to set the gradient one color to black. And then we'll set the gradient two color to this dark purple. The hex code for that purple is 472772. Okay, now this is looking a lot better. Now taking a look at the rest of the design section, there are several more options that allow you to customize the actual gradient movement. There's settings for duration, tilt angle, percentage placements, and more. And if we scroll down, we see that we have support for up to six colors. And before I leave the options panel, let's jump back into the content tab. In here, we'll find the apply to option. And this setting is important because this drop down gives you the options for where you would like the gradient effect to be applied to. In our case, the default current row is perfect, but you can use the other options if they apply to your usage, like current column or entire page. The custom CSS selector choice allows you to apply the effect to the backgrounds and elements that you target with custom CSS like galleries or slideshows. This will definitely be less common usage, but it is covered in our FX Widgets Custom CSS Selectors video. The remaining options in this dropdown are for our responsive flex layouts only. Now a couple final thoughts here. The placeholder for the widget will be seen in the editor and in the preview URL, but it will not be seen on the published site. Also, if you've deleted the widget for any reason, but you still see some of the signs of the effects remaining, just refresh the page. That'll remove the widget's code after it's been deleted. And that's it for this simple widget. Be sure to check out the others in our FX series for other widgets that'll add simple but powerful effects to your site, like the Ken Burns effect and confetti.
Until next time, my name is Norma Durkee, and you've been rocking with the best website builder on the planet, WoCode.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and support. We're always here to help.